Hey, uh, wanted to do a quick addendum um, for Talika, because uh, I know you're probably either passed out or um, back at the hospital or whatever. So hopefully you are getting some sleep. Um, I just wanted to do this quick addendum because I've been praying for you and I know you're probably busy. Um, or if you're not, you can call me and I'll be happy to pray with you. Um, but I love you. And I'm, I'm so uh, just saddened and, and racked by uh, just the amount of suffering and sadness you're surrounded by. And so I've been praying for your folks and you. Um, but I just want to pray for you real quick. Uh, I know this may seem a weird way to do it, but since uh, I'm stuck at the house today, um, I just wanted to be able to share it with you. Um, so maybe if you feel bad, maybe you can watch this and know you're not alone. I know you know you're not alone, but whatever. That's all. I just want to share uh, with you. Um, what's that? Because whenever I'm in pain and suffering, uh, there's always the same place I go to. I don't know. You have a bunch of different places probably that you go to or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just wanted to share with you. And I love you much. And I hope it comes as some comfort. Uh, to know you are not alone. Lord God, I ask you just to lay your hand down on Talika. Just wrap her heart in your hands. Lord, warm it so it can feel cool it so it doesn't break Lord please if you can if your spirit can move through this whole experience Lord through this year of trial and of joy and of soon to be delivery Lord just deliver Talika out of this trial when it's time Lord you teach through suffering so it's a blessing when we enter these periods of trial. So Lord, just whatever joys and lessons and light and transformation that's being wrought about in Talika as she is about to step in to motherhood, Lord, let those lessons come. <laughs> whatever they are, whatever the, the blessings are, Lord, just bring them on. And, and just no more no more of these slings and arrows and, and flames and, and torture Lord for her loved ones Lord if you can deliver her loved ones from their ailment Lord please do so if it be your will just just yank it all out Lord just s smooth that side of his head Lord and quell the troubles in, in her in her mother's body, Lord, and just quell all the troubles of her heart. Lord, just fill her life with as much love and compassion and joy and light to combat this this moment, Lord. And whatever parts of Talika are are meant to be burned or winnowed away by this ferocious experience, Lord, by this intense suffering, then, Lord, just cleave them. Cleave them. Pull them. I'm sure whatever they are at this point, you'd be happy to let them go, Lord. Thank you for the blessings, Lord. Help us, please. Help us, please, to understand. Help, help her, please, to just feel filled with hope, Lord. And bring this son, this Freundlich son, into the world without complication, Lord. Bring him in and just, just let him fill the room, Lord, with, with blessings and life and light and laughter and screaming and crying and everything, Lord. Thank you so much for uh, the gift of friendship for bringing Talika into my life, Lord. I pray that if you can use these words I offer up to you to offer her any sucker in this moment, then please do. 
Thank you, Lord. Help me to lean out of my own understanding because I don't really understand all this very much. Thank you so much, Lord, for your blessings. Big and small and, and mighty and tall and, and especially the ones that we hate and seem like nothing but death and pain, Lord, because that's what this life is filled with. So, Lord, chase away those shadows. Illuminate every corner. And just, just be there. Be there, not in the abstract, Lord, but in, the, in a powerful truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, leeks. Big hugs and kisses until I can see you and give you big hugs and kisses. Although not too big, because I might squeeze the baby out. Although maybe it's time, so... Okay, whatever. Bye.